Hey everyone, Veshi here. So finally Starfield has gotten a small hotfix. It's like a mini update. Uh, it's not like a proper patch, but apparently it does fix some stability issues and some bugs. Um, so these are uh, the patch notes or the hotfix notes, whatever you want to call them. Um, so it says uh, our pr priority initially is making sure any top blocker bugs or stability issues are addressed. And, not, and they have kind of teased that they're going to further add some more features in the game which are brightness and contrast controls, HDR cal calibration menu, uh, field of view slider, uh, DLSS support, obviously it is in NVIDIA specific and uh, 32 by 9 ratio for uh, ultra wide monitors and eat button food, I don't know what that is. So um, like I said, it's not like a uh, full-fledged patch but it's like a mini hotfix and let's check out the game how the game performs after this patch so um, we're inside the game menu um, before I start the game let me show you the graphic settings I have um, I have uh, obviously I'm playing at 4k and all of my graphic presets are majority of them are at they're all maxed out except shadow quality because for me it's personally it's kind of negligible like it's very visible but for me it isn't um, other than that um, yeah and you can clearly see in the menu we don't have DLSS and we don't have HDR or any stuff like that but they have kind of uh, given us a teaser or whatever that it's gonna come in the future patches which is very good but I have this personal opinion uh, about this game I think it's um, uh, it's more optimized for AMD GPUs but that's my opinion I can be wrong as well you can tell me about it in the comment section if you're wrong but for me it's more focused on uh, AMD graphic cards as compared to Nvidia graphic cards so let's start the game so uh, guys we're in the uh, lodge uh, in our planet Jemison where our headquarters of constell constellation are and as you can see uh, in the middle I have this uh, a bunch of values I have a 3090 Ti obviously I'm playing at 4k and my FPS are mostly in between uh, 40 to 50 and if you're wondering that's less uh, the main reason it's less is because I'm also recording this at a very high quality which you're seeing it on your screens and that's why my FPS are kind of getting tanged out so at least three to five FPS are reduced because of that other than, other than that if the recording is not on the FPS are uh, they're quite decent and the game is very much playable and as far as the game stability is concerned I'm gonna be honest with you even before this past it seemed quite stable to me and uh, like every new game you have to being a PC gamer you have to tweak some graphic settings and stuff like that and you have to you know thoroughly th thoroughly like experiment with the graphic settings and finally you reach that sweet spot which is perfect for you so I think I have reached that sweet spot uh, I have read numerous posts of people, uh, especially PC gamers, uh, people complaining that this game's uh, for a high-end PC. Like I can't comment on that because I myself have a 9900K. Like fine, uh, my PC, like my CPU is getting old, but uh, I believe that my uh, my computer does come in the high-end category. So, in this uh, video, we're gonna do a whole bunch of stuff. We're gonna ride our uh, spacecraft we're gonna go to different planets hang around and I, I can't promise you guys we'll try to do a little bit of combat as well I know doing combat is important but still I'm more of an explorer and less of a combat person so no pro promises regarding that otherwise um, I personally really like this game it's different of what I usually play and it does look beautiful uh, I mean it could have been even better but uh, as far as the graphics and its visuals are concerned I would easily give it a 8.5 or a 8 out of 10 like easily
I do find that statue pleasing. I wonder if it matches the original vision of the artist, or if they changed the Whoa. design as they were. Am I supposed on. to go on the right? Uh, I don't know. Sorry, I'm really, like, I just do fast travel. I don't, like, walk towards my ship. If I'm kind of lost, I'm sorry. Yeah, I did kind of get lost a bit. Like, I went in the wrong direction. I'm fine. I don't know, maybe if I can, uh, like, I can't be wrong, but this game kinds me, kind of reminds me of Cyberpunk. Maybe because of the futuristic aspect, but I don't know. Is a satisfying moment. Okay, if you're wondering who this lady is, this is Andreja, and it's she's better than the. What's her name? Sarah. Sarah's annoying. So Andreja, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. She's a bit less annoying. No offense. Yes, I would say okay. that. Let's take off. Proper adjustments are being made. The most difficult part has been acclimating all the blood. Never see what happens. Interesting. Such as. Oh, yes. Here's a particularly strange one. Aim point reached. Move it stay. After a person sneezes, someone invariably invokes the phrase, Bless you. Oddly strange to administer absolution after witnessing a bodily function. Okay. <laughs> Let's turn on the boosters. Oh, I'm sure there was a perfectly good reason that expression was connected to sneezing. But I'm afraid it's lost to time. That I mean, if you ask me, the game I gets even more stable when you're flying because... Um, uh, well, I don't think that's necessary. I think uh, it's, it's obviously it's less uh, graphic intensive. And naturally, the FPS, they improve. Like, flying, when you're flying, at least for me, I have 15 to 20 more FPS. Okay, what do we do? Let's go to a different planet. Um, star map. Uh, we're in our own solar system, Alpha Centauri, whatever, I, I hope that's what's uh, what's it's pronounced and where do we go where do we go so there's this uh, um okay let's go to our own solar system it's called SOL Sol okay so this is Earth I think this is Earth. no this is Mars this is Mercury this is Venus and where's Earth uh, this is Earth Earth is all Earth is finished like it's dead. It's all frozen. I don't want to go there. It's boring. Anywho, let's go to um, Midas. Mimas. So Mimas is one of the... It's one of the moons of uh, this big guy. Saturn, yeah. Saturn has these mini, really, a bunch of small, really, really small asteroids. Uh, asteroid belts. So these are asteroid belts. Like, they're very small. I don't know if, you, if they're even called asteroids. So that's them the ring so let's go to Mimas um, where do we go let's go to this place where, where I've already been I find it amazing and I have a feeling there is dude Why can't we see, uh, like, last time when I came here, I could see, uh, what do you call it, Saturn, and it looked beautiful, I don't know, where, where the hell is Saturn? I don't know, let me check, if we're in... I think, uh, I can't see it because, uh, 
Saturn is not aligned with the Sun or something like that. Maybe, maybe. Let's go to a different moon. Let's go to this moon, whatever it's called. It's called Tethys. Let's go here. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Not let th let's go here. Try it on. Damn. No. Sure. Let's go to travel to Triton. Enemy's grab drive disabled. Okay, let's do some fighting. Funny, like I think it's done. Okay, let's uh, let's land on this right on moon, the moon of. Uh, Neptune. Where should we land? Okay, what's it's like? Deep freeze. It's like a frozen moon. I mean, it's an understandable. It would be frozen because it's so far away from the sun. I mean it looks nice but I personally wanted to so that's I think that's that's about to be saffron I don't know I mean if you ask me I would really frankly say the game performs even like way better it's even more stable because at times in some intense situations the FPS would drastically drop kind of making the game laggy which is not anymore I think it's a good thing kind of disappointed why why is Neptune looking so small I mean it's not small obviously it's big technically speaking but let's look at the star map a bit again Okay, um... You know what, let's travel here. It's going to be dark, but let's do it. still can't see Nept Neptune I think it's got to do with the with its alignment with the Sun 
because planets don't have their own natural uh, you know um, light they get lit up with the sun and the sun is in a very different direction that is why um, when we were, we were on Mimas the moon of Saturn we couldn't see Saturn although it looks beautiful if you see it yeah for now I would say the this hot fix it, it it did fix things at least for me I don't have uh, these drastic FPS drops in intense situation in intense situation sorry and yeah personally speaking I'm really looking forward uh, to more proper future patches so we could see DLSS and stuff like that it was a it was kind of a disappointment not seeing DLSS in such a um, uh, such a awaited a triple-a game it was it was disappointing I'm gonna be honest with you uh, but at least they s they kind of promised to us that they're gonna re they're gonna uh, add DLSS, which is good. So for now, this is it. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and definitely hit the bell icon. It would help me out a lot. See you guys in uh, f future updates of this game.